Hello and welcome to the overview of Controlio. We strongly recommend you to go to Controlio.net and try our demo version of the dashboard. Also, you may sign up for a 14-day trial for free. So to start monitoring employees, you will need to download the client from your account. After installing the client on the PCs that you want to monitor, it will start tracking all interactions made on them and report these interactions by uploading logs into the secure AWS cloud. You will be able to view all this data from your Controlio dashboard. A summary of activity and productivity insights can be observed on the main dashboard page. Always pay attention to the upper side of the page that you are viewing. For almost every page, we have these filters that help us cut down the time we take to search for a report from hours to mere seconds. You can set the filter to show data for today or yesterday. It could be last week or this month, and of course, you can set a custom date range if needed. Another filter we can see here is the filter for users or departments. If empty, that means the data is shown for all monitored users. So let's take a look at the widget here below with the active time and productivity score. Active time is time spent interacting with the mouse or the keyboard, while productivity score shows how productive an employee was within this entire duration, based on the productivity levels of the activities that the employee was engaging in. Below is the breakdown of this time into applications and websites, and on the Categories widget, you can see the breakdown of this time into different categories. Take a sneak peek of employees' current activity state with the help of the Online Sessions widget, where you can see the status of online users, what activity he is currently on, and what window he is viewing. And if you want to watch the live stream of his screen in real time, you just need to click on this screen icon next to the employee's name. Screen recordings will be stored in the dashboard. For most report items, you will notice a video camera icon next to them. So clicking on this icon will open a window with a video player where you can view the corresponding recording or even download it. On the last snapshots widget, we can see snapshots, which are small thumbnails of user's screen, which can be used to quickly search for a specific recording. And the periods widget is a smaller version of the productivity graph. The productivity widget is a leaderboard among employees according to their active time and productivity score. The activities App usage and web usage widgets are also a little board, but for total time users spent on activities, apps, and websites. You can choose to sort by ascending if you want to see the activities with the least user interaction time. The alerts widget will show you the latest violations of behavior rules that you can preset from the dashboard. And the top violators widget is another leaderboard, but for who has the most behavior alerts. So moving on to the productivity report. Productivity bars line up to form the productivity graph. The colors inside the bars indicate the productivity level of the activities engaged during this period. These productivity bars can be scaled to show data per hour, per day, per week, or per month. On top of the graph, you can see total time, active, and idle time, as well as the productivity score for the active time period. The activity bar next to each user shows the ratio of active time to total time, and this same ratio for all of the filtered users can be seen on top of the graph as activity ratio. Toggling this switch will show or hide idle time in the graph. Time is considered to be idle when an employee doesn't move his mouse or type on his keyboard for 60 seconds by default. If needed, you can adjust the idle sensitivity timer. Holding the cursor of your mouse in any bar will give you a summary of the time period. And let's not forget about the report filters which are on every report page. We can filter by date range and users list or use the quick search box. Most reports can be exported to your computer in CSV or in PDF formats by clicking on these icons here. 
Every application used by the monitored employees and every website visited will be listed here as an activity. This graph here shows how much time the filtered users have spent on activities and the colors of the bar will tell you the productivity level of the activity, ranging from darker orange for very distracting to darker green for very productive. Clicking on this cog wheel to the right of any activity will redirect you to a small window where you can edit its category or productivity level. You may even set custom productivity levels for any specific user or department. If you click on any activity, it will drill you down into this activity's report. Firstly, you can see the activity heat map. It clearly shows you when did users engage in this activity the most or the least. Darker means more time and lighter means less. The Windows tab will show you each window that was opened as well as active and total time spent engaging it. In the Users tab, you can see how much time users have spent on this activity. And the Detail tab will show you the detailed records of this activity's interactions. If screen recording is enabled, the report item will be linked to a screen recording. You can watch it by clicking on this camera icon here. Next on the list is the Categories report. The Categories graph is the same as the Activities graph, but it takes into consideration entire categories instead of sole activities. Clicking on the cogwheel next to any category will redirect you to the window where you can adjust the productivity level of this category, or even set a custom productivity level for a user or a department. If you click on a category, it will drill you down to the activities breakdown of this category. You have the Users tab, which shows users' total and active time on this category, and all the detailed report items within this category linked with the video. When tracking attendance, you will find yourself going to either Sessions Report or Attendance Report. Speaking about Sessions Report, the graph will show you how many sessions were recorded every day in the filtered period. You may adjust the working hours considered in this report. Here in this report, you can see when was the first interaction that the employee made on the monitored PC each day, and when was the last interaction. You can think of this as when did the employee come to work and when did he leave. You can see exactly how much time he spent working, and for how long he was idle. The productivity score and the activity bar are also shown to give you a better understanding of the employee's level of performance during this session. The Logons tab items show every time a user logs on or logs off from the Windows user session if they were being monitored in stealth mode. And for icon mode users, this shows every time they start the monitoring or stop it. And once again, if screen recording is enabled, we can click on the camera icon to see the video recording of this logon. The attendance report includes summarized and detailed activity and productivity insights for a single day. You can filter by date, but you can choose only one day at a time, because this is a daily report. You may filter by user or department, and you can download the report, but only in CSV format. You can specify the time range that you want to view on the attendance graphs here. And you can choose whether to show or hide idle time in this graph by toggling this switch here. For the detailed graph, you can simply hover at any specific time and it will show you what the user was doing then. In other words, which activity was on his four screen. While the summary graph will break the hours into small bars that can be scaled from 5 minutes to 15, 30 or 60 minutes. Holding your mouse over these bars will show you their summary. 
when conducting investigations, any specific piece of information can be useful. Controlio has broken down the different data into these more specific reports to make it easier to find the needed record. The detailed report holds records of every visited website and launched application. Each active website switch will be shown here as well. This is the place to go if you're conducting deep investigations on specific cases because it holds all activities records in one place. And if you have enabled screen recording, you can click on the camera icon to watch or download the linked video recording. Snapshots can be filtered by date, and similar to the attendance report, it is shown per day only. You may filter by user or department as well. Each day, for each user, a snapshots folder will be created. The number of snapshots taken on that day will be shown, and below is a button to export the video of the entire day. You may click on the snapshot to watch the linked video recording, and if you click on the upper part here, you will be able to see all the snapshots taken from that user screen on that day. Snapshots are PNG images with a width of 300 pixels, taken every 5 to 10 minutes. They can be utilized to visually search for a record. Moving on to keystrokes. As the name suggests, every keystroke hit will be shown here linked with a video without a doubt. Uncheck show functional keystrokes to hide functional keystrokes or keep it checked to show them. Search engines are everyone's go-to when performing most of our daily work tasks. So we have dedicated the report solely for them. Simply, it shows every text that the monitored user input into their search engines, and if screen recording was enabled, you can watch the video recording of these searches. Any file operation, such as create, delete, move, or rename, will be reflected in the file's report. If any employee tries to copy any of your intellectual properties to a removable, this report will clearly show when he did that. And if screen recording was enabled, the video recording can be leveraged as forensic evidence. There is also a USB toggle on the top of this report, which can be toggled on to show file operations made only on removables. All emails viewed, sent, or received during the monitored hours will be listed in the emails report. You can simply view the email just like its receiver or sender, and if there is an attachment, you may download it as well. You may also watch the video recording of this action by clicking on the camera icon. The printing report shows all print operations made by the monitored user. In this report, you can see how many pages were printed, the name of the document, the printer used to complete the print order, the user who made it, and the time of this print. Clicking on the camera icon will show you the video recording of when the user initiated the print order. Finally, online sessions. All users that are connected and being monitored will be listed here. The activity state of each user will be reflected here as well, green for online and orange for idle. Just like previously mentioned, you can check what an employee was doing at this exact moment, what activity he is on and what window is on his for screen currently. If you click on the screen icon corresponding to any employee, you can watch the live stream of his screen in real time. The behavior alerts will all be listed here on this alerts reports page. These alerts show when a user violates any of the preset behavior rules. And if screen recording was enabled, each alert will be linked to the video recording just like any report item. Moving on to behavior rules. Click on create to create a rule or click on any existing rules name to start editing it. You will need to enter a name for this rule and then choose the event type. You may choose Visit Website to set rules on website visits, with the ability to block single or multiple URLs. And you may set a rule to alert when users launch a certain application, with the ability to block these applications as well. A rule can be set up to receive alerts when users insert removables, with the ability to even block them. You may receive alerts for keyboard strokes, when users are active or idle for a period of time, when a user's session starts or ends, or when users log on or log off. 
you can also set up these alerts so that you receive an email notification when the violation occurs. This can be helpful when the rule to be broken is of critical importance. On monitoring profiles, you can specify what should be tracked and how users should be monitored. Click on the monitoring profile that you want to edit or create a new one. You may enter a name for your monitoring profile here and select which users or departments should have this monitoring profile applied to. You can set up Control U to send the employees a message at the beginning of the monitoring session. For example, telling them that their PC is being monitored. Checking this will hide all of Controlio's processes and services, making it much harder to detect its presence. This toggle here, allow the user to turn monitoring on and off, will switch between icon and stealth modes. Next is the schedule tab, where you can set a custom schedule. In the screen tab, you can toggle on or off live screen streaming, snapshots, and screen recording. You can allow screen recording for specific activities and you can exempt it from some as well. And here below you can adjust the quality of the recordings. Keystrokes, applications, web surfing and files tracking have similar settings. You can either turn them off by unchecking the box next to them or turn them on by checking it back on. You can allow them for specific activities or exempt them for some. Searches, sessions, and printing tracking can be turned on or off here by checking or unchecking these boxes. Emails tracking can be turned on or off completely or partially, enabling tracking only for MS Outlook app or only webmail. You might choose not to track junk folders, emails, as well as decide whether attachments should be saved or not. And at the bottom of the list is the idle sensitivity, which is 60 seconds by default. So if a user makes no mouse or keyboard interaction for 60 seconds, idle time starts counting. You may simply adjust the idle sensitivity value to better suit your needs. There is also a custom idle sensitivity for meeting apps, which is 600 by default and can be edited. You may even edit the list of activities to be considered as meeting activities. Controlio scheduled reports will allow you to automate the reporting process. So if you click on create, you can create a scheduled report job. You will need to specify a name for this job, for example, weekly summary. Make sure that it is enabled to actually start receiving reports. Specify the report type, users to be included in the report, and the data range of this report and choose when or on which days should this report be sent to the specified email or emails. You may enter multiple emails separated by a comma and a space. What if you have managers that want to view the data inside the dashboard as well? In this case, access can be given to these managers so that they can view the productivity insights. Click on Invite to add a manager or an admin. You can simply specify his email address and his access policy to determine what he can view and you may filter which users he can view as well. These invites are free of charge and you may invite as many managers and admins as you need. Controlio's dashboard is a complete customizable monitoring solution that helps you measure the current state of your employees' productivity, manage their overall behavior, and timely detect workflow bottlenecks. If you still have any questions about Controlio, please do contact us at the contact details shown on the company page on Controlio.net. You may also submit a ticket from our knowledge base or try reaching us by chat during weekdays. That will conclude the overview of Controlio. We sure do hope that you have enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you.